Hey guys, this is Logan. And I'm Wyatt. With Infinite Gaming Respawn, and we are here to open the new Assassin's Creed Beyond Booster Box. Um, we'll get right on it. I know we're a little behind on getting videos out. It has been a sprint the last few weeks, and yeah, it's been a lot. But um, we're back. I'm not opening a collector box of this set like we'll normally do when something new is coming out because they are limited hard. So we got plenty of Beyond Boosters. I didn't want to limit what I was going to sell my customers by opening collector boosters for the store, so we just opted for a Beyond. First off, look at that. That's kind of sick. Ooh. I like that. I, I am an Assassin's Creed fan, so it's this is kind of a neat set for me. All right. These are set up like Aftermath packs. Um, before they realized how much of a disaster Aftermath was, they had already planned this release, I think, and I think it was too late to go back. So, I know there's some crazy reprints in here. So, we'll see, we're starting straight at Uncommon. Hemlock Vial, Towering Viewpoint, Defender Reach, Pay 3, Target Creature Gains Flying Until End of Turn. Mm -hmm. eh. Lydia Fire, Human Assassin, can't be blocked with creatures with power three or greater. In the beginning of your instep, surveil X, where X is the number of tapped assassins. It's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like the full art forest. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. And then our first rare of the pack is a Hatham Kenway. Protection from assassins. Other knights get plus two, plus two, and have protection from assassins. When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, it's like one target creature that player controls until it leaves the battlefield. That's actually really good. It's a four mana three three, but it's got a lot. The protection for assassins isn't going to be relevant in a lot of stuff, but this actually could end up in a human's build. We got a foil, fall of the first civilization. You and target opponent each draw two cards. Exile target artifacts and opponent controls, and each player chooses three non-line opponents they control. Destroy all order. Oh wow, that's kind of neat. That that feels like a pretty good commander card. Ooh, and look at the showcase. All right. Breaker of Chains. Enter the battlefield to build top six of your library. Assassin, pirate, or vehicle from among them into your hand rests on the bottom. Or a vehicle you control deals combat damage to a player. You may return this from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. It's interesting, too. And the Capultian tr Triad. Mm -hmm. Creatures you control have base power and toughness. Nah, nah. What in the world creates that emblem? That would be awesome to get. All right. The video will be forever if we go through all of them that slow. We'll just sort of pick out some highlights. Brotherhood Regilia. Some equipment. Creature gets Ward 2 as an assassin. And addition, and can't be blocked. Oops. Gives a ward, can't be blocked. 2, equipped 3, equipped to legendary is cheaper. Haystack. Murder reprint. Full Art Planes. We got the Animus as our as our rare of the pack. At the beginning of your instep, exile to one target legendary creature from it. A graveyard with a memory counter on it. Tap until your next turn. Target legendary creature you hope control becomes a copy of a target creature card and exile with a memory counter on it. Huh. Well, that's that's kind of cool. interesting. From a graveyard. So you can take it from either graveyard. So if you put you kill their attracts or something... Exile it from their graveyard, and then you can tap it and make your little 1-1 one, one, a copy of their attract. So that's kind of neat. Mm -hmm. Black Market Connections <laughs> reprint. Let's go. That's a good card. That's a nice, <laughs> nice reprint. Ooh. And a Shao Jun. Leap Strike. As long as it's your first turn, Shao Jun has Flying and First Strike. As long as it's your turn. And tap two and tap artifacts you control, and it deals one damage to each opponent. Hmm. That's cool. That's not bad. For a three mana, three three flying first strike, that's not terrible. Hey, and we got us a nice little signed art card. All right. I'm curious to see how these packs do. I don't have near as much excitement around the store for these as I expected to have. So, kind of curious to see how these end up doing. You may cast this free run cast you a combat player this turn with an assassin or a commander. Hmm. Return target creature to its owner's hand and then draw a card. Hmm. Overpowering attack, another free running. Huh. That free running mechanic will be kind of interesting to see how that plays out. Shade Cormac, permanent you control, lose hexproof, indestructible, 
and war your opponent's control. Ooh. Whenever a creature an opponent controls with an target's ability, put a bounty counter on it. Whenever a creature with a bounty counter dies, put two one one counters. That's not bad. That could be an interesting, interesting commander build around. Mm -hmm. Full art swamp. We got a rest in peace yes. reprint. Not bad. Pretty art on that. Mm -hmm. We got a coastal piracy. Whenever a creature you can you control deals combat damage to an opponent, you draw a card. That's Good little commander enchantment. Ooh. And a showcase, Alexios, Diamos of Cosmos. Goodness gracious, that's a lot of words. Trample, when it att attacks each combat, if able, can't be sacrificed and can't attack its owner. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player gains control of Alexios, untaps it, but the 1-1 counter on it gains haste. Mm -hmm. This is like, uh, oh, what's the Transformer that done uh, the same thing? Zyton. No. Ah, uh, I'll it think of it later. I'll think of it later. But there's a transformer card that does basically the same thing. It's red and two. Oh, Slicer. Yeah. Slicer. That's the transformer card that does the same thing. Hemlock vial. Lydia Fry. A hunter's bow. Ooh. Full art forest. Did that ball hollow And a reprint of assassin's trophy. Ooh. That's a good card, a good art too. Look at that. It's mm -hmm. a nice reprint. Did we get another rare? Nope, we got an uncommon. The Acer Escape Valhalla. And our showcase is another Alexios. Two in a row. Roshan, Hidden Magistar. Other creatures are assassins. Mm. Hmm. Face down creatures have menace, and whenever a permanent you control a turn face up, you draw a card and lose a life. They're trying really hard to bring that uh, mechanic back. Terminate, Propaganda, both good reprints. Four are, I really like the lions in the set. Yes. <gasps> we got a stone hammer. When it enters the battlefield, attach it to target legendary creature you control. Whenever a equipped creature attacks, tap target creature defending player controls and put a stun counter on it. Mm -hmm. Then it deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of tapped creatures that opponent controls. Wow. Oh, yeah. That does a lot. That's not bad. That's a good commander card. Origin of the Hidden Ones. Four damage to any target, create two one one black assassin creature targets with menace. Whenever an assassin control attacks this turn, create one one black. Huh. That's not bad. Oh crap. Ooh. I threw everything. And our showcase is an Arabaz mare. Whenever it or another non token historic permanent enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent, you gain one life. There's a lot of I know this is a modern legal set. So far most of the stuff I'm seeing though really feels like commander build arounds. Mm -hmm. Lots of legendary stuff, lots of does stuff to each opponent, lot, you know, combo-y style stuff. Loyal Inventor, Mortify, mm -hmm. Full Art Mountain. We got Sean and Rebecca Agents, Vigilance, Whenever Sean and a Rebecca agents enters the battlefield, search a graveyard hand and library for a card, name the animus, and put it on the battlefield. Oh. Then shuffle. That's interesting because it's legendary. You can make this a commander build around and use your animus thing over and over and over again because it lets you search a graveyard. Tap, add a colorless when you do, mill two cards. Hmm, that's interesting. Foil murder. I wish they would quit reprinting that card. It's Arno Dorian, Death Touch. When other assassins get plus two, plus oh. Disguise for two men. Hmm, not bad. There's definitely going to be some assassins decks coming up in Commander for sure. I, I've not seen much yet that really looks like something that is going to make it into modern though. Templar Knight, Vigilance, Tap 5, Untapped. Oh, this is the new card that you can have as many as you want in your deck. Tap five untapped attacking creatures you control. Name Templar Knight. Search your library for a legendary artifact card. Put it on the battlefield. Then shuffle. You have any number of cards named Templar Knight. See, this would be fun with something like the Animus because you'd have make have a whole bunch of just Templar Knights out everywhere, and you go get your Animus, and then you can turn your Templar Knights into something actually good. Restart sequence. It's got free running. Also, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. 
That would be good. If it wasn't an assassin or commander, it would be so much better. That free running would be a lot more interesting. Archer would reach. Whenever a creature with flying attacks or a planeswalker you control, it deals damage equal to that creature's power. That's not bad. Three mana, reach. Hmm. That's an interesting, interesting text on that card. We got, A, hey, our first uh, mythic of the box, an Eivor Wolf Kissed. That was a good Assassin's Creed game. Whenever Eivor Wolf Kiss deals combat damage to a player, you mill that many cards. You may put a Saga card and or land card from them onto the battlefield. Hmm. S Legendary 6 for 7-6. Seven, hmm. We got another Hunter's Bow, this time in foil. And another Shao Jin. So that's the thing I'm worried about. I'm curious to see by the time we get through this box how many copies of these cards we have because that was the big problem in Aftermath. It's like every pack you were getting a copy of a card from the last pack. But so far it looks like there is a decent bit of different stuff. Can you touch a flying death touch or life link? That's not bad. Another towering viewpoint. Reconnaissance. Remove target attacking creature you control from combat and untap. For zero. Uh, night. Dude, I love the lands. Yes. Gorgeous. We got a Spear of Leon Leonidas. Good grief, that was harder to say than it should have been. Whenever a quick creature attacks, choose one. Bull Rush, it gains Devil Strike. Summon, it create Phoebus, a legendary 3-2 red horse creature token. Or Revelation, discard two cards and draw two cards. Definitely some good equipment in this set. Eagle Vision, draw three cards. And uh, another Arabaz Mirror. I do like the showcase cards, like anima styling. I do like that. I think those are kind of cool. I don't like how many of the same ones we got in this box already. Hidden Blade. That's the buy box promo. Become Anonymous. A quick exile target non-token creature you control. You own in the top two cards of your library and a pile face down. Shuffle that pile, then cloak those cards. They enter test. That's not terrible. Getting combat on your turn. Creatures you control gain flying until end of turn. If a creature card in your guards are... And your graveyard has flying. The same is true for first strike. Oh. Yeah, it's one of those that uh, you gains everything from your graveyard. There's another card that does something similar. What must be done is our rare of the pack. Choose one. Let the world burn. Destroy all artifacts and creatures. Or release Juno? Funo? Return target historic permanent card from your graveyard of the battlefield. It enters with two additional 1-1 counters on it. If it's a creature, artifacts, legendaries, sagas are historic. Escape detection. And another Arno Dorian. We've definitely got a lot of the same showcase cards. Yeah. We haven't seen, it seems like we're not getting too crazy amounts of the copies of commons and uncommon, or of uncommons, there's no commons. Phantom Blade. <laughs> That's the same thing that Arabaz Mirror. We've got several showcase. Hey, we got the Path to Exile reprint. Swamp. Sigard Jarl of Ravensthorpe. Vigilance Trample Lifelink. Boast. Put a one one lore, uh, put a lore counter on target saga you control, or remove one from it. Whenever you put a lore counter on saga you control, put a one one counter up to one other target creature. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. Cathartic Reunion. Hey, that's our first Ezo Brash Novice Showcase. Whenever it attacks, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. As long as it has two or more counters on it, it has first strike and is an assassin in addition to its other types. Another interesting little commander build around. We're 15 minutes in and we haven't even got through the box. Uh, half, talk about half the box yet. We probably need to pick up our pace a little bit. We normally try to keep these about 15 to 20 minutes. But it is the first time we've seen these. Monastery Raid. Exile the top two cards of your library. If it's free running cost was paid, exile the top X cards instead. You may play the exiled cards until the end of your next turn. So you can free running exit. Hmm. Templar Knight. Go for the throat. Forest. Ooh, and we got the Capitolian Triad. This spell costs one less for each historic card in your graveyard. Artifacts, legendaries, and sagas. Exile any number of historic cards from your graveyard with a total of mana value 30 or greater. 
You get an M1 with creatures you control have a base power and toughness of 9-9. Nine, nine. Yes. That is dumb if you can get that to go off. This is never going to go off in modern. Mana value of 30 or greater, like, no, that's not going to happen. But in commander, that could be dumb. That could be real dumb. Hey, we got a foil by some Ibn Ishk. Whenever you cast a historic spell, draw a card. It can't be blocked this turn. When it does combat damage to a player, put a 1 1 counter on. Mm. Ooh! <gasps> and an Apple of Eden Isu Relic. That's a nice. That's our first uh, mythic full art. Pay 4 lives, sacrifice it. Look at target opponent's hand and I saw those cards face down. You may play those cards this turn and many attack can be spent to cast them. Until end of turn, that's a tap ability. Until end of turn, when you play a land or cast a spell this way, its owner draws a card. At the beginning of the next end step, return the exiled cards to the owner's hand. Activate only as a sorcery. That's dumb. Mm -hmm. That's really dumb. And a football token. That was a good card. Mm -hmm. Smoke bomb. All creatures have shroud. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice smoke bomb. When you do, target creature you control can't be blocked. Become Anonymous, Escape Valhalla, Mountain, Abstergo Entertainment, Legendary Land. Tap, add a colorless, pay one, tap it, add a man of any color, tap three, and tap it, exile it, return up to one target historic card from your graveyard to your hand, and then exile all graveyards. Re Revelations of Ezo, destroy target, tap creature and opponent controls. Whenever an assassin you control attacks, put it this turn, put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. Turn target assassin card from graveyard or battlefield with an additional one, one counter on it. And a foil Ezo showcase. Haystack. Phantom Blade. Palazzo Archers. Now it looks like we're starting to see a lot of repeats in the commons and commons. Conspiracy. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures you control are the chosen type. Same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. Hmm. Loyal Inventor. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for an artifact, reveal it, then shuffle. Put that card on to, into your hand if you control an assassin. Otherwise, put it on top of your library. And a Shea Cormac. Permanent your opponent's control, lose face. Oh, yeah, we, we read that one earlier. That's just the first showcase we got. A nice little sign, dark card. I know this is so far is feeling better than the uh, aftermath stuff I opened. Aftermath really felt gross when you first went to open it because it was so much of the same thing. We're definitely seeing some copies, but nothing like what we saw there. Not so far, at least. That's a pretty island. Menace Lifelink, whenever a historic creature you control deals combat damage to a player, create a 1 1 Assassin's Creature token with Menace. Aya of Alexandria. Brotherhood Regalia, foil. Equipped creature has Ward 2 as an Assassin. Oh, yeah, we've seen that earlier, though. Mm -hmm. And Rashan Hidden Magistar. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I think we've read mostly. I think I'm only going to read the rares from here on. So I think we've read most of the uncommons now. It looks like most of those have been read. If I notice something, we'll try not to, or we'll try to read it, but. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this Demos of Cosmos. Ballad of the Black Flag. Three steps of mill three cards and put a historic card into your hand from among them. And the fourth one is historic spells you cast this turn, cost two less. Arno Dorian. Forest. We got a Socrates, a Thorian teacher, defender. It has Hexproof as long as it's untapped. You can tap it until in a turn target creature gains. If this creature would deal combat damage to a player, prevent that damage. This creature's controller and that player each draw half that many cards around it down. No, that's interesting. We got a foil Eivor Wolf Kissed. And another Ezo Brash Noss. The showcase card in every pack helps a little bit, I will say, but, and the full art land cards for somebody like me. Chain assassination, destroy target creature of another creature died this turn, draw a card. 
Brotherhood's headquarters, add one many color, if it's an assassin, or if it has free running, or to activate an ability of assassins, otherwise just add a colorless. Terminate. Another full art planes. Crystal Skull Isu Spyglass. You may look at the top part of your library anytime. You may play historic lands and cast historic spells from the top of your library. And you can tap it out of mana. So bad. Bleeding effect, foil, and uh, showcase Lydia Fry. Hopefully this product will do better than Aftermath did, but I guess we'll see. Definitely a lot of equipment in here. Three basic search for three basic land for two on the oil field tab and other in your hand in the shovel. Well, viewpoint synchronization. That's not bad. It's five man, it's kind of expensive if you can't do the free run. And our rare is a fiery eyelet. Borderless. That's a pretty art. I like that. And we got a cover of darkness. When it enters a battlefield, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type have fear. They can't be can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or black creatures. Reconnaissance, foil, and an and a wall breaker of chains. That's the first time we've seen that one. When it enters the battlefield, huh? We saw it earlier, just on a showcase. Oh yeah, that's the one with the that does the vehicle stuff. Yep. Never mind. Assassin Initiate, Adresta, that's the first time we've seen that one. Island Walk. When it attacks an assassin crewed at this turn, draw a card. It becomes an assassin in addition to its other types on Crew 1 for a 4-3. There's the Breaker of Chains, Normal Art. I think that's actually the first Normal Art I've seen of that card. A Swamp. Got a Jacob Fry, partner with Evie Fry. That's fun. Whenever one or more assassins you control deal combat damage to a player, exile it to one target assassin card or card with free reign for your graveyard. If you do copy it, you may cast the copy. Arabaz Mur, foil, and another Breaker of Chains showcase, this time foil. Okay, the showcases are becoming less impressive the more copies of the same one I'm getting. Hook Blade, Reconnaissance. Island. Hey, we got the Temporal Trespass reprint. Let's go. The fresh art. That's a good that's a good reprint. Desynchronization. Return each non-land permanent that is not historic to its owner's hand. Hmm. Hey, and we got the showcase Sean and Rebecca agents. Not bad, not bad. That was a good pack. Mm -hmm. That was a really good pack. Assassin's Gauntlet. Quick creature gets plus one, plus one. Has whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, then discard a card. Another Adresta. Coastal Piracy. Forest. Bayak of Siwa. Double strike as long as your turn. Other historic creatures you control have double strike. Hook Blade. And a Shea Cormac. Hook Blade, Petty Larceny, Reconstruct History, Swamp, Sinu Keen Eyed Protector, Flying and Vigilance, Tap it, Exile it, Exile Sinu Keen Eyed Protector, you gain two life and scratch two. When a legendary creature you control attacks and isn't blocked, if it is exiled, put it onto the battlefield. Huh, that's an interesting build around too. Mm -hmm. Roshan Hidden Magistar, and another Alexios Showcase. Three more packs. I still haven't seen much that seems like it's like broken for modern. Once again, a lot of commander stuff. There's definitely some interesting stuff for a commander that I've seen, but nothing too crazy. Turn up to one target artifact card and one shaman card, one target instant card, and one up to one target sorcery card, and up to one target planeswalker card from your graveyard to your hand. And the next up. That is a lot of returning. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Planes. We got Javi, the All Father. Has indestructible as long as there are four or more historic cards in your graveyard. And whenever Javi or another legendary creature you control dies, return target legendary creature with lesser amount of value from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. Hmm. Wait, from A? No, from yours. Oh. Phantom Blade. 
And a showcase Jacob Pro. That's for a showcase Jacob Pro we've got. Mm -hmm. Wait, her own stacks. Jacob goes up there. Oh. Last two. Overpowering attack. Untap all creatures you control that attack this turn. If it's your main phase, there is an additional combat phase after this phase, followed by additional main phase. Oof. That's not bad. Eagle Vision. Breaker of Chains. Island. Staff of Eden Vault's Key. That's the first one of those we've seen. It's a mythic. A mythic. When Staff of Eden Vault's Key enters the battlefield, put target legendary permanent card not named Staff of Eden Vault's Key from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your... From a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Tap it, draw a card for each permanent you control, but don't own. Hmm, that's interesting. He mm -hmm. Hidden foot, foot Blade, and another Showcase Sean and Rebecca Agents. Last pack magic, let's see what we can do. Yeah. See if we can finish off with something nuts. Tax Collector, when it enters the battlefield, choose one tax until your next turn spells your opponent's cast costs one more to cast. Or rest, attain target creature and opponent controls. Until your next turn, that creature can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. Shio Jun. Hey, Fatal Push reprint. That's a, that's a good reprint. Mm -hmm. Got a Full Art Mountain. We got a, an EV Fry, partner with Jacob Fry. Draw a card, then discard a card. When you discard a creature card this way, target creature you control can't be blocked this turn. That could be fun. I like the partner commander stuff. That could be fun. We got a foily Shaojun. And another showcase Lydia Fry. And a pretty sick art card. So, not terrible. I'm still skeptical about Beyond Boosters, this little seven card pack stuff. But I feel like we done okay. We got some pretty decent reprints. The Fatal Push, I mean, Fatal Push has been consistently a few dollar card. Fancy art. I mean, that's a pretty neat looking art. So that, I could see that, you know, being four or five dollar card. Um, some of these will be Commander Staples. Tra Temporal Trespass will be good. Fiery Islets, definitely a decent card. Um, the Wolf Kiss, I could see being something. The Apple of Eden seems good. The Triad seems good. <laughs> Um, Stonehammer definitely feels pretty good. Rest in Peace, it's always a good card. The Black Market Connections is, uh, is a good reprint. The Animus seems good too. So I, I see some stuff, I can see some value here. I'll have to price everything out to see how well we did. Probably do that tomorrow or something like that. But definitely doesn't seem too bad. There's definitely some interesting stuff in this set. I don't see this being much of a shakeup to modern. I'm sure somebody will find a card or two in here that's like, oh, this is good and modern. But nothing, I don't think there's nothing that's going to really shake up modern in what I've seen at least. So only time will tell. As always, we are Infinite Game and Respawn. You can find us online at www.infinitegameandrespawn.com. You can find us on whatnot at IGR underscore NC. You can find us on Instagram at Infinite Game and Respawn and on Facebook at Infinite Game and Respawn. If you happen to be in the North Carolina area, you can come visit us at 2819 Lee Avenue in Sanford, North Carolina. We are open seven days a week from 2 to 11. Um, and yeah, love to see you if you're in the area. If not, uh, you can drop by any of our online channels and say hi. And uh, we'll drop the link to the TCG player in the show notes. And uh, you can uh, come by and check out all these cards for sale. We'll be putting them up for pre-sale hopefully tomorrow. All right, guys. Uh, we'll try to be back soon. Maybe do some Star Wars openings next week or something. Uh, but until then, bye.